Welcome. Today is Saturday. It is March 4th and we are here for our yoga class. We're going to spend the next hour together focusing on breathing and movement and letting go of stress that we hold in the body physically and in the mind. So make sure you have a nice quiet place, nice comfy space, and let's start by relaxing a little bit down on our backs. Let your arms rest at your sides, palms open face to the sky. Closing our eyes, begin to breathe deeply in through your nose, expanding belly back and rib cage. Exhaling out through the nose as well, feeling that same air of your body contract and empty. some awareness to our face. Feel your eyes relax. Feel the jaw relax. And then we'll shift awareness and breath into the neck. Breathing away any tension that you hold there. Let's guide your breath into our arms and we'll breathe from our shoulders all the way out to our fingertips. We'll shift awareness and breath into our legs and let's breathe from our hips all the way down to our toes. Let's bring our breath into our spine and we'll breathe from the top of our head. All the way out through the tailbone. And I want you to feel and visualize your breath making its way down the spine, weaving itself in between each segment. We're going to roll our head to the right. Bring it back to neutral and let's roll to the left. back to that neutral place. Next, let's inhale both arms to the sky. Exhale behind us. I'm going to stretch out through our fingers, push out through your heels, and make your body as long and straight as you can. Try to stretch a little bit farther with your right arm and your right leg. A little bit farther, left arm, left leg. And then feel your body go soft. And we'll inhale the arms back up to the sky. Exhale, let's return them to our sides. From there, we're going to pull our left knee into the chest. We're going to give it a really close hug. So I want you to feel that stretch taking place down the length of the spine, into the gluteals. We're keeping our shoulders relaxed on the mat. And let's point and flex our foot. Think about really working from your heel to your toes. And then from there, let's circle the ankle around and reverse. And then just let your foot rest where it is. Next, we'll shift, bring the other leg in. Start with just that nice close hug, being aware of that stretch going down the spine into the gluteal. And we'll flex and point that foot. And then from there, let's circle that ankle around and reverse. And then just let your foot rest. Let's bring both knees in super close to the body. Give yourself a nice tight hug and rock a few times side to side, massaging either side of your spine. Come back to neutral. And let's circle both knees around and around. And then let's go the other way. And then just keep the knees tucked in nice and close. Next, I want you to tighten the belly and as you're doing that, press through the back of your rib cage, bring your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. And release back down. 
Try again, tighten the belly, rounding up. And release back down. Now let's rest our feet on the mat with our knees bent. Toes are in, heels are out, feet about hips distance apart. Arms at our sides, palms to the sky. Tightening the belly, let's slowly begin to peel off the mat, pressing up and holding on to our bridge. And then exhale as slow as you can, returning to the mat one vertebra at a time. Trying again, tightening the belly and peeling off the mat. Pressing up into that bridge, ensuring there's no weight transfer to the neck. And then exhale back down. Let's try that once more, tightening the belly, peeling off the mat, pressing up and holding on to our bridge. And then again, one segment at a time, we press back down into the mat. Once there, let's pull the knees back in, nice tight, close up to the body. And again, we rock gently side to side. And then come back to a neutral place. Tightening the belly, press through the back of the ribs. Bring your nose up towards your knees. Now on the exhale, let's roll up. And once we've made it up, let's extend the legs out, hands on either side of the hips. Begin to walk your hands forward, push back with your tailbone. Feel your rib cage melt down close to your thighs as you drop your head. and slowly begin to roll back up. And then once we've made it upright, we'll cross our legs Taylor style. Let our palms open face to the sky, resting on the hands on the knees. Feel your spine lengthening off the tailbone. And then allow your head to drop so your chin touches your chest. Inhale, lift the head to back to open your throat. Exhale again, chin to chest. Inhale, lift, tip the head, opening your throat. And again, exhale, chin to chest. Now roll the left ear to the left shoulder. Drop the chin, we'll roll right. Drop the chin and roll left. Drop the chin and roll right. And then let that chin again rest on your chest. And slowly bring the head back to neutral. Once we're back to a nice upright position, we're going to turn our head to look over left shoulder. Let's return it to center. Then we turn to look over right shoulder. And then we're back to that neutral place. Now let's place hands together at heart center. And let's inhale, open the arms and the heart. Exhale, let's bring palms back together. Inhale, we open. And exhale together. Inhale, open. And exhale together. Now let's turn our fingers towards our heart. And then away from the heart. Turn them into the heart. And away from the heart. Again, into the heart and away from the heart, and then let them point to the sky. From here, I want you to take a big inhale. As we exhale, extend to the sky, and then inhale, pull them back down. So let's exhale to the sky, and inhale back down. Exhale to the sky, and inhale back down. Once more, exhale to the sky and hold it. And then inhale at both arms. Float all the way down. Fingertips lightly touch the mat. Once there, let's begin to roll the shoulders from back to front. And then we'll start to circle the arms a little bit larger. Opening our palms to the sky. We're making really big, big, big circles. And then we're just stretching both arms high. And again, let the fingers float all the way down. Once we've returned them to mat, let's take another nice full inhale. Exhale as we soften and make our way onto hands and knees. 
So once we're on all fours, check that you've got the tops of your feet pressed into the mat. Hips over knees, shoulders over wrists. Foundational hands, so I want you spreading your fingers out really wide, turning those hands in, pressing through second, third, and fourth knuckles on each hand. Anytime we're bearing weight into our hands, we want to create these foundational hands. So the weight stays out of the wrists. Next, we inhale, sink the navel, lift the tailbone, lift the head, open the heart, cow. And then exhale, scoop the belly in and round as high as you can. Inhale, sink the navel, lift the tailbone, lift the head, open the heart. Exhale, round. Once more, inhale, open. And then exhale, round. We'll make our way back to our neutral spine. And from there, extend through the heel of your right foot. Now add the left arm forward, turning palm to the sky. Exhale back to all fours and let's switch. Extend through the left heel, adding the right arm forward, palm to the sky. Exhale lower, let's switch again. Extend and reach. Exhale lower, switch. Extend, reach. And exhale lower back to all fours. Touch the big toes, separate the knee. Go ahead and push your tailbone back towards your heels. Feel your chest drop through your knees, forehead to the mat. Arms reaching to the front of our mat, turning those palms to the sky. Bring the hands back around, foundational hands. We'll tuck our toes, lift our tailbone. Build that downward facing dog. Feel your ribs pull closer to your thighs. Feel the back of your shoulder blades reaching towards your gluteals. Let's nod the head yes. Shake the head no. Let the head just hang out there and then walk your dog a few times. Lift and lower each heel individually. Leg pressing down. From there, let's raise both heels and press them back down. Try again, we'll raise our heels and press down. Now let's inhale ourselves into a good sturdy plank. Belly button is tight. Nice long straight line, top of the head through the heels. Exhale, we're back up into down dog. Inhale to our plank. And exhale, down dog. Inhale again to plank. Now as we exhale, modify to your knees, start to lower elbows open, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Lengthening the spine, press through the tops of the feet and the hip bones. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, back down. Inhale, rise, cobra. And exhale, down. Once more, inhale, rise, cobra. Now exhale all the way back, extend the child's pose. Again, really stretching those fingers towards the front end of your mat. Come back to foundational hands, tuck the toes, and we're back up into down dog. A few more walks of our dog. And then both heels press down. Let's inhale, return to plank. Modify if you'd like, exhale, we lower. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale to plank. Modify if you'd like. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. From there, let's return to all fours. Sink the navel, lift the tailbone, lift the head, open the heart cow. And then exhale, scoop and round out for cat. And then we're back to all fours. <clears throat> right foot's gonna step forward between the hands. Positioning knee over ankle, pressing through the top of that left foot. Begin to lift up her body, crescent moon. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Tuck the left toes so we can lift our left knee bringing us into runner's lunge. Feel that straight line from the back heel of your right foot right up through the top of your head. 
Now step the left foot back. Let's return to plank. Press back up into down dog. And then let's come back down onto all fours. Once again, sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. And then exhale round for cat. Come back to our neutral spine. And let's step the right foot forward between the hands. Press down through the top of your left foot. Start to lift up our body. Press it on. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Runner's lunge. Again, we've got that straight line from the heel of our right foot reaching out through that top of our head. Step back with the left foot into our plank. Press back up into down dog. And then inhale again into plank. Modify if you'd like, exhale lower. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. And again, exhale, downward facing dog. Now let's step right foot forward, left foot forward. Toes are closed, heels are apart. Gonna inhale and roll the body up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to our heart. Again, inhale to the sky. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale, rolling up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to the heart. Again, inhale to the sky. And exhale, fold. Inhale, look out. And exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back, left foot back, plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes close, heels apart. Inhale, rolling up, reach to the sky. Exhale to our heart. There's our first sun salutation. Inhale again to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes close, heels apart. Inhale, slowly rolling up. Reach to the sky. Exhale to the heart. Again, inhale, extend, and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold deeper. Right foot back, left foot back, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen, rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. And exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes close, heels apart. Inhale, roll up, touch the sky. Exhale to the heart. Again, inhale, extend, and exhale, fold. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes close, heels apart. Inhale, let's roll up. Touch the sky. And exhale to the heart. Now let's find our standing mountain pose. Want to feel those toes spreading out. Want to feel that navel drawing in and the top of the head reaching towards the sky. Breathing into our balance. Let's inhale again to the sky. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale, sink deeper. Right foot steps back, finding our runner's lunge. Push the right heel down, turn the right toes out. Now let's draw a straight line from our left heel to the back of our right heel and start lifting up our body. Centering our body weight, keeping our hip bones forward, squaring off the hips and adding the arms for warrior one.
Let's open the arms as we open the heart. And then we'll inhale, lift your spine. Exhale, let's hinge forward, bringing us into warrior airplane. And then we'll exhale, hands to the mat. Returning to the ball of that right foot, send your left foot back to plank. Exhale, we lower. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. You can hang out there or insert a push up. And then we're back up into downward facing dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes close, heels apart. Inhale, let's roll up. Reach high to the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale again, extend and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out and exhale, sink deeper. Left foot steps back into lunge. Once established, push the left heel down, turn the left toes out. Align your right heel with the back of your left heel, lift upper body. Hip bones are square, shoulders stacked, arms extend, warrior one. Again, be conscious of centering your body weight equally into both feet. Now let's open the arms as we open the heart. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, hinge forward, bringing us into our warrior airplane. Exhale, hands return to the mat. Return to the ball of that left foot. Send the right foot back. There's our plank. Exhale, has us lowering. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. Hanging out there or insert a push up. And then exhale back up into down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes close, heels apart. Mm -hmm. Inhale, let's slowly roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to our heart. And then come back into standing mountain pose. Let's inhale again, touch the sky. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink deeper. Let's cradle our elbows in the palms of our hands. Form a frame with those arms. Allow your upper body to rest against your thighs. So perhaps that means you need to bend your knees a little bit. But let the upper body completely release. From there, let's release our fingers to the mat. Take a step back with that right foot, returning us to our lunge. Push the right heel down, turn the right toes out. Aligning left heel with back of right heel again, we lift up our body. We return to warrior one. And then from there, we're gonna press our palms together in our heart. Inhale as we begin to rotate to our left. And then as we exhale, let's see if we can tuck our right elbow to the outside of our left thigh. As we exhale, let's untwist. And then from there, proceed to walk yourself around into a wide straddle. So we end up facing the wide edge of our mat. Position your feet so your toes are either pointing straight or they're turned in slightly. Hands directly under our shoulders. We're gonna inhale, lengthen. And then on the exhale, again, we're just gonna melt the body down. Go ahead and press down into the palms so the arms push straight. From there, let's raise our heels. Pull them up as high as you can. And then we're gonna press them all the way down. And then we're gonna raise the front of our foot. While we've got our front foot raised, try stretching your toes really far apart. And then we're gonna place each and every toe all the way into the mat. So we've got that nice foundational feel to the feet. 
Shifting our weight to the right, start to bend the right knee. Let's keep that outer edge of that left foot pressing down and really focus on the inner left thigh. And then we'll pull back to neutral center. Inhale, let's look out with our flat back. Exhale, add the arms, there's our airplane. And then we have to really work at engaging the abdominals to bring us upright. Turning our palms open face to the sky. Adjusting our toes inward, we've got five pointed star. Feel the stretch running all the way across the front of your body. From there, let's rotate our palms to face forward and then we're gonna bring the arms to the front. First, just press your palms together. And then we're gonna lace our fingers and let's press the index fingers together. Breathe between the shoulder blades and across the upper back. And then from there, let's bend the elbows and try to get the elbows and the forearms to meet. Continue to keep those elbows shoulder level. And then from there, let's inhale, extending the arms towards the sky. Allow them to frame your head. Actively pull the shoulders down and feel the top of the head reaching towards the sky. Let's do a small side bend to our left. We'll come up and side bend to the right. And then come back to that neutral place and let the arms reopen returning to five-pointed star. Now we're ready to turn our left toes to the front end of our mat and align your left heel with your right arch, bending the left knee. Knee over ankle, we're looking past that left hand. Body weight is centered between our feet. And then we'll pull the left leg straight once again. Let's rebend and finding that warrior two. Stretch the left hand a little further. Let's lift the left, lower the right, and turn that left palm to the sky. Breathing up the side of our ribs and pushing out through the heel of that left hand. And let's return to warrior two. And once again, pull the left leg straight without locking. So we're back in our start position. And now we can begin to build our triangle. So we're starting to pull the right hip to the right. And then we're gonna stretch that left arm as far away from our right hip as we can. Once we can't go any further, go ahead and lower that left hand, extend that right arm towards the sky. You wanna feel like you're being pulled away from the earth. And we're feeling all sorts of open space across the front of the body. You have no tension in the neck or the shoulders. Breathe. From there, let's start to lower that right arm towards the right hip. So it's going to make a circle. While it's doing that, let's bend the left knee. And then we'll bring the right arm back up towards the sky. You can either place your left hand on the mat or your left forearm on your left thigh. And there's extended angle pose. Exhale, begin to revolve the upper body. Let's return the runner's lunge. And then send that left foot back so we end up in plank. Exhale as we lower. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. And exhale again, tower facing dog. Let's inhale to plank. Hang out there or insert a push up. And then go back up into downward facing dog. Now let's take the right leg, start extending it behind you and then reaching it towards the sky for three legged dog. And then we'll step the right foot forward between our hands. 
And that's gonna bring us back into our lunge. Push the left heel down, turn the left toes out, and start to straighten the right leg. As you're straightening the leg, we're gonna lift the right toes off the mat. Inhale, look out. And then exhale, sink the upper body as close to your right thigh as you can. And then see if you can get your foot to press all the way down. Breathing into our hamstrings. And then from there, begin to re-bend the right knee. And begin to shift your weight back into the right foot. You're going to push the right leg straight once again. And now extend the left leg behind you hip level. Hands form a tripod with that right foot. And that simply becomes tripod balance. Now, if you want to, align your right thumb with your right pinky toe. Start to roll the left hip open. And then add that left arm to the sky. And there's half moon balance. Exhale, left hand down if it's lifted. And then step the left foot in. Big toes closed, heels apart, bend your knees. Pull the knees closer and closer together. Lift your ribs from your thighs, add your arms along your ears. And there's our chair pose. And then let's inhale to touch the sky. And exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale again to the sky. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale, sink. Elbows are cradled in the palms of our hands once again, forming that frame around the head, allowing our upper body to rest against our thighs. release fingers to the mat. Step back with your left foot so we end up in lunge. Push the left heel down, turn the left toes out, align the right heel with the left heel, let's lift up our body, and we return to warrior one. And then from there, let's bring hands together at the heart. Inhale, start to rotate right, and then exhale, see about getting that left elbow tuck to the outside of our right thigh, continuing to roll that right shoulder open. As we exhale, go ahead and untwist. And then we're gonna walk ourselves around so we end up in our straddle, facing the other side of the mat. Adjusting our feet, toes in, or at least straight ahead. Hands under shoulders, let's inhale again, look out. And then exhale, melt down. Pressing down through the palms. Let's raise the heels again, trying to get up as high as we can. And then pressing the heels down, lifting the front of the foot, spreading those toes open really wide. And then pressing each and every toe into the mat. Let's bend the left knee and begin to shift our weight to the left. We want to keep the outer edge of that right foot nice and flat on the mat and breathe into the right inner thigh. and then we'll make our way back to neutral. Once there, inhale, nice flat back, look out. Exhale, let's open the arms for our airplane. And then inhale, slowly rise to standing. Palms opening to the sky, five-pointed star. Rotating our palms to face forward. Let's bring them together. Start by just pressing your palms. 
and then lacing our fingers and pressing our index fingers together. Now let's bend the elbows so the forearms and the elbows meet. And we're continuing to lift our elbow shoulder level. And then inhale, let's start extending towards the sky. So the upper arms frame the head. No tension in the shoulders. Lengthening out of the waist. Let's do our side bend to the right. Inhale back up. And side bend to the left. Inhale, lift. And exhale the arms back into our five-pointed star. Now let's take those right toes and point them to the front end of our mat. Align our right heel with our left arch. And then when ready, bend that right knee. Looking out past our right hand, centering our body weight. Go ahead and pull the legs straight and we bend. Finding that perfect place where we're feeling very balanced, very powerful, very open. Start stretching the right arm a little farther forward and then begin to lift the right as you lower your left. Turn that right palm towards the sky, crossing through the heel of your right hand. Breathing all the way up the right side of your ribs. And then we'll bring our arms back to shoulder level, returning to warrior two. And then we'll pull the right leg straight and we're back in our start position. From there, we're ready to pull the left hip left. Start reaching that right arm farther and farther away from your left hip once we can't go any farther. Set the right hand down and let those left fingers reach towards the sky. Breathing to all that open space that we've created. Releasing any tension that we're holding in the shoulder or the neck. Let's start to lower that left arm towards the left hip and begin to bend the left knee. You'll let the arm circle back up and your left hand can either reach the mat or your left forearm or right forearm could rest on your thigh. Extended angle pose. As we exhale, let's begin to revolve up our body and return to runner's lunge. Send the right foot back. There's our plank. Exhale as we lower. Inhale, rise cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. Remain there or insert a push up. And then we're back up into down dog. Now let's take the left leg, start reaching back, and then up towards the sky. And there's three-legged dog. Let's exhale as we step the left foot through the hands, returning us to our lunge. From there, we're gonna push that right heel down, turn the right toes out, now start to straighten the left leg. And while you're doing that, lift up your left toes. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink upper body deeper down. And then see if you can get your toes to press back into the mat. Breathing into those hamstrings. Take one more inhale. On the next exhale, begin to bend the left knee. 
Shifting your weight forward onto the left foot. Then to push the left leg straight once again and extend the right leg behind you hip level. Hands form a tripod with your left foot and that becomes tripod balance. We can remain like that or align our left thumb with our left pinky toe. Roll the right hip open, adding right arm to the sky. Half moon balance. Let's exhale right hand down if it's lifted. We'll step our right foot in, toes are close, heels are apart. Bending the knees like we're about to sit in a tiny chair. And while we're doing that, think about pulling your knees closer together, lifting your ribs from your thighs, adding your arms alongside your ears, chair pose. Inhale, reach high, touch the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. And then let's refine standing mountain pose. From there, we're going to find that focal point for our eyes, fixate on that spot. Feel that belly button drawing in tighter and tighter. And shifting our weight into our right foot. We've got our toes spread out nice and wide. And then we're going to place our left heel against our right ankle bone. And then we can bring our hands to heart center. When you feel ready, you can lift that left foot. and perhaps grow the branches of our tree. And then we can start to lower the branches. And we'll put the foot back down, but now let's cross that left ankle in front of the right. Inhale up to the sky. Exhale, lower the arms, hands to thighs, begin to fold forward. Let your body draw down as far as it can. Again, bend your soft knees perfectly fine. And then from there, let's uncross. Toes close, heels apart, let's roll back up. Reach to the sky. Exhale to the heart and return to mountain pose. Same thing, other side. Focal point for the eyes, belly button nice and tight. Shifting weight to the left foot this time. Make sure those toes are open. Right heel goes on left ankle bone, hands at the heart. And then when ready, lifting that right foot. growing the branches of our tree. And then lowering the branches. Sending the foot back down. Crossing right ankle over left. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, let the arms open, hands to thighs to help us fold forward, going down, 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 and letting go. And then let's go ahead and uncross. And we'll step back with our right foot and then our left foot and hang out in our good solid plank. Now let's do right shoulder over right wrist. Turning into side plank, we extend that left arm towards the sky. You can modify to the side of your knee if you'd like. Let's come back around into our full plank. Press ourselves up into down dog. And 
then return to plank, holding there or insert a push up. And now we've got left shoulder over left wrist, turning into that side plank, modifying to the side of our knee if we'd like. Exhale back around into full plank. Pressing back up into down dog. And then again, returning to plank. Remaining there or inserting a push up. And then from there, let's bring the right knee to the mat. Extend through the heel of your left leg, lifted hip level. And then add the right arm forward, opening palm to the sky. See if you can lift the right foot so it doesn't help you balance. And then bring the right foot in hand back down. From there, let's set the left toes down. Step the right foot back into plank. And then press back up into down dog. And again, return to plank. Now let's bring the left knee to the mat. Extend through the heel of that right foot. Add the left arm forward, palm open to the sky. And then try lifting that left foot so it's not helping us balance. And then bring the hand and the foot back down. Let's bring the right knee back into place. Separate the knees, big toes touch, push back with that tailbone. Extend the arms forward, palms to the sky. Extended child's pose. From there, let's pass the left arm through the right armpit. Let your shoulder rest on the mat. And then bring that arm out and we'll switch. And then bring the arm back out and stretch a little bit further. Bring the hands back around, foundational hands, scoop the belly in, let's round up for cat. Sink the navel, lift the tailbone, lift the head, open the heart cow. And then make your way back to neutral spine. From there, we're gonna inch the right knee forward, so it's gonna pull right up behind the right wrist. Now we're going to use that left hand to guide the right heel over, aiming it at a left hip bone. See if you can inch the left foot a little further back. And then begin to ease the upper body closer to the mat. So we want to think about pointing the right knee to the outer edge of the mat. Press down into the outer edge of your right pinky toe. And press down to the top of your left foot. We want to keep the weight positioned over that left hip. So we're not feeling discomfort in the right knee. From there, as we inhale, let's start to lift up our body. And then once we're up, we're going to shift all of our weight so we end up on the right hip. Let's pull that left leg forward. So we're going to press the bottom of our right foot against the top of our left thigh. And when we look at our legs, they sort of resemble a pinwheel. When I think about keeping both of our sit bones on the mat and then extending the arms out. Now I'll start to bring the arms closer together. And let's pass the left elbow under the right. Start to bend the elbows, and we're going to press the back of our hands together or see if we can get our palms to meet. And the whole time we're here, think about lifting instead of sinking. Got one more inhale with our eagle arms. As we exhale, let's untwist. 
let the arms float down. Then we're gonna stretch our left leg out straight. Let's keep the bottom of our right foot pressed against the left inner thigh. Then face that left leg and start to hinge forward. Drawing your upper body as close to your thigh as you can. And then from there we'll slowly rise. Once you're upright, let's rebound the left knee, bring the soles of our feet together. Place our feet in the palms of our hands. Pull your heels in as close to your body as you can. Keeping the spine nice and long. We're keeping those knees opening towards the mat. And then as we exhale, let's soften a bit. And we'll make our way back on the hands and knees. So whatever way works for you to get there. Once we've made it back onto hands and knees, we're gonna to start to inch the left knee forward behind the left wrist. Using our right hand this time to guide that left heel across, aiming at the right hip bone. Keep opening the left knee wider to the side and then inching that right leg further back, melting the upper body closer to the mat. Press into the outer edge of your left pinky toe and the top of your right foot. And then let's start to inhale and lift up. And once we're upright, let's shift our weight onto our left hip this time. We're gonna pull that right leg forward so we've got the bottom of our left foot pressed against our right thigh. Keeping our sit bones on the mat, extend the arms out. And then start to bring the arms closer together. This time, let's pass the left elbow on top of the right elbow. Bend the elbows to the back of the hands where the palms meet. And then while we're here, we continue to lift those elbows, breathing across upper back and back of shoulders. Let's take one more inhale. On the exhale, let's untwist. Let the fingers slow down. And let's stretch the right leg out straight and keep the bottom of our left foot pressed against that right inner thigh. Hands on either side of that right leg, begin to hinge forward. And then slowly come back up. Now let's try opening the left leg also. Pushing out through the heels of our feet, hands are between the legs. We start to pull forward, and again, think about getting that belly button down. Forget about getting the head down, and breathe. And then we'll start to walk the hands back in. And we'll bring the legs closer together. Now let's bend the knees and place our hands behind our thighs. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Pull that belly button in tight. Find your balance on your tailbone while maintaining a nice straight spine. And then see if you can start to extend the legs. Going where you can without rounding your back. Adding in the arms. And then slowly beginning to open down. Once we've made it all the way down, we're going to push out through the heels, reach out through our fingers. And then let your body go soft. Now let's pull the left knee into the chest, giving it a nice close hug. Let's circle the entire knee. And then let it reverse. Good, and then from there, Send that leg out and we'll switch. 
Pull the right knee in, starting with our hug. And then that easy circle. And reverse. And then just hold it in. And then from there, let's set that foot down with the knee bend. Rebend the left knee. Arms at our sides, palms to the sky. Let's slowly peel off the mat so we're returning to our bridge. No weight in the neck. Lots of activation in the gluteals and the hamstrings. Pull the left knee to the chest and then stretch that left leg towards the sky. And then slowly begin to lower the spine. And let's place our left ankle on our right thigh. Lift the right foot from the floor. Thread your hands behind that right thigh. Pulling both knees in closer to your body. While all the while keeping the left knee opening wider and wider. And then let's rest the right foot down. Cross the left leg farther over the right. Let's open the arms wide. And we're going to drop both of our knees to the right. Keeping the shoulders pressed down. Looking over that left shoulder. And then bring the knees back to neutral. Arms come back to the sides. Let's uncross the legs. Toes and heels out once again. We're going to slowly peel up into our bridge. And then pull the right knee into the chest and extend the right leg towards the sky. Start to ease the spine back to the mat. Place the right ankle on top of your left thigh. And then lift the left foot. We'll place our hands behind the left thigh. We're gonna draw both legs closer to the body while we keep opening that right knee wider and wider. And then let's release that foot down. Cross the right leg farther over the left. Stretch your arms out wide. We're going to drop our knees left. And we're going to look right. And then we'll bring our knees back to neutral. And let's uncross the legs. Arms come back in close to the body. Once more, we're going to tighten the belly and rise up into our bridge. Once we've made it up, let's clasp our hands together beneath the body. Think about walking your shoulder blades closer together and pressing your knuckles into the mat. And then you can unclasp your hands. Press your palms into the mat and start to lower the upper body. We're going to actually set our hips right on our hands. Once that's done, let's stretch the legs out straight onto the mat. And I want you to press down into your forearms and your palms and start to pull your heart towards the sky and just let your head kind of hang back. We don't want to put any weight on the head while we've got it tipped back. And this would be our modified fish. Breathe across the chest. And then press a little bit more into the forearms so you can lift the upper body a little bit and bring the head back into a more neutral spot as you ease the upper body back to the and then let's rebound the knees, feet on the floor. You can remove your hands and then go ahead and pull both knees in. Ah, nice stretch down the spine into the gluteals. Adding in those gentle rocks to massage the spine. And circling both knees round and round. And then we'll do a couple the other way as well. 
and then just keep the knees pulled in closer. Start to separate the knees while your big toes remain touching. And then we're going to open even wider so the soles of our feet meet, heels towards the body, and we're back into butterfly. And then let's separate our feet. We're going to push up with flat feet, pull down with our hands. And I want you to really notice that the spine is just completely relaxed against the mat, as well as the back of our shoulders. And then we'll start to push the legs straighter and wider, pushing out through those heels. And let's start to draw the legs closer and closer together. And then we'll rebound the knees into the chest. Tighten the belly so you bring your shoulders, neck, and head off the mat. Let's keep the left knee in and stretch the right leg all the way to the mat. And then we'll pull that right knee back in and switch so the left leg goes out. And then we'll pull that back in. Let the head, neck, shoulders come back down. Let your feet return to the mat. And then simply slide one heel all the way out the other heel all the way out. Arms at our sides, palms to the sky. Start by tightening all the muscles in your arms from your shoulders to your fingers. Nothing else is tense, just the arms. Now let the arms go soft. Let's do the same with our legs. Tense all the muscles in your legs. From your hips to your heels, nothing else is tight, just the legs. And then let the legs relax. And let's do the same with the abdominals. We want you pulling down on the back side of your navel. And I want you to feel just the belly tighten so we're not feeling tension in the arms or the legs or the spine. And then let the belly go soft. Again, pulling in on that belly as if you're preparing to get punched in the stomach. So you want to have it nice and firm. And then let it relax. We'll let our head roll to the right. Come back to neutral and let's roll left. And then just let that head come to that neutral place. And now we're going to guide our breath around the body, looking for those places that remain tense or tight. And let our breath linger in those spots, breathing away that tension. I want you to feel your body getting very, very heavy as it's sinking down into your mat. And then start to breathe away the heaviness. ourselves getting lighter and lighter. We're floating just above the surface of our mat.
back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Let's set aside all of our anxious thoughts, make a choice to live today with courage, with an open heart and a grateful heart, extending random acts of kindness wherever we can. Know that my soul honors your soul. I honor that place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because it's also within me. In sharing these things, we are united. We are the same. We are one. Namaste. I thank you for joining me this morning. I hope that you feel renewed and ready for the day. I will be back tomorrow night to let you know what we've got going on tomorrow, so or on Monday. So in the meantime, be healthy, be safe, and be kind. I'll see you soon.